Ladies, 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 and gentlemen, this is Amber coming to you with the Frag View, coming to you with another video review. And today we are going to get into what's going to be on my January tray. So if you're interested in seeing some of the things I will be wearing in the month of January, just keep watching. Hello, family. Welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, family. Hey, and if you are new to this channel, my name is Amber. On this channel, we review fragrances and body care, and we spill, sip a little tea from here and there. Your sis may go left, but it's okay. Just subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. Comment down below. Would love to get to know you and meet you. And hey, family. Hey, happy new year. Okay, we have made it 2023. And I am so thankful that you all, new family, old family, that you all have clicked on this thumbnail to see what my tray is all about. Thank you for just the love that you all have shown and even just looking at my other videos and giving me the thumbs up and commenting. I'm just loving all the love and getting to know you all. And um, yeah, hopefully more of us join. I would love to get to a thousand subscribers. I would love to just meet that milestone, right? But got in, come for all that. Let's get into some of the things that I will be wearing for the month of January on this tray. So first and foremost, you all know, if you all know, I just got her. So that is Velvet Tonka, BDK Velvet Tonka. And that is your almond orange blossom in here. And I again just got her so i'm excited to have her on the tray and really just wear her more and enjoy her more this is a beauty i have worn her already outside the month of january and she's pretty so those that know this is my first bdk fragrance i don't have anything else but i am so happy i discovered or you know was introduced so many of you all on um this fragrance platform have talked and raved about this fragrance and i'm so happy to have her now in my collection um yeah i'm just excited and so moving on you all know i got this beauty right here <laughs> look at her I got her for Christmas. So that is Mason Francis Kirk de John. That is Baccarat Rouge 540, the extract version. Honey, I am so glad that I got this beauty for Christmas. I've been wearing her. I wore her for New Year's Eve. Honey, I just, you know, I have to, I couldn't wait. Okay. And so she uh, definitely going to be on the track because I just need her in my life. And honey, I think you'll see a theme on my tray. I feel like it's all about vanilla, all about some coffee. Uh, so we're going to get right into this one, Initio. This is none other than Absolute Aphrodisiac. I have not talked about her on my channel, but I will. Mm -hmm. But this is your Vanilla Amber Spicy Fragrance. I just, of course, wanted to put her on my tray. So I can meet her, get to know her, you know, and give you all, all the tea and all the things, you know, my thoughts. So if you all have her, great. If you all don't, she may or may not be one that you put on your list. But we're going to talk about her more. No worries. Yo sis got you. And if you are not new to this channel, you all know I picked this up on my New Orleans trip. And so this is called Dragon's Blood. You know what? I have been into, you know, perfume oils just a little bit, okay? Just slightly, not overindulging, but just a little bit. And I think on some days that I'm just like, you know, I don't want like a heavy fragrance or something like that. And I'm in the house or whatever the weather is doing. You know how this weather, ooh, whatever it's doing. You know, some days I just want to take it easy and breezy and 
Yeah, I'm going to put a perfume oil on. You know, I might put a little body spray, a little Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret, but then put on a uh, perfume oil. So I'm excited to get into those things. Um, if you all see the number on here, if you're ever in the New Orleans area, there you go. That is who you can hit up to get some dragon blood and honey. It's good, good. I can't really even describe it, but it's a good one, especially for the winter. Okay, me and my girl picked that one up. Okay, moving on. So we have, okay, Miss Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64. I definitely needed to put her on my tray. This is your rum, vanilla, jasmine, oud, creme brulee. I had to put her on my tray because I feel like I just haven't gotten a wear out of her. And I kept saying, let me get her. Let me get a wear. Let me, let me put her on. And I just, I just haven't done it. So I need to get into the things I gave you all. I think my first impression, but I need to give you all what the lasting impression is, you know? So we'll, we'll, we'll get into that more. And then I also put, you know what? I put K. Alley Vanilla 28. You know what? The Fragrance Streets. I be seeing y'all bottles and y'all dents. And I looked at um my Vanilla K. Alley uh, 28. And I said, sis, what is the problem? I mean, this is what I'm talking to myself. You know, saying to myself. Mm -hmm. But no judgment. Okay, moving on. But <laughs> I'm saying to myself, like, sis, what is the problem? You need to get, you need to be spraying more. People are doing all types of layering combinations with her. Like, what, what's your beef? I don't got no beef with her. I just got so many fragrances. So, I'm going to get into it, start layering her more so I can put a little bit more of a dent in that. Like, I don't know. Like, you know, and that's your brown sugar, your tonka bean, your must. Like, of course. Why wouldn't I put a dent in that? Anyway, to each his own. To each his own. Next, you all know I just talked about her, the new Zara from Joe Malone, Warm Freedom. And some of you all have gotten it. Some of you all have picked up some things off of my recommendation. I am so glad. I really hope that you all enjoy your scents. You know, we are all different. So, you know, I really do hope it works out for you all. It worked out for me. This is if you love a coffee note. This is going to be right up your alley, okay? I have some more coffees <laughs> that I have on my tray. It's a coffee affair, okay, for January. You know, you know, you know y'all need some, well, some of us need coffee. Some of us do tea. I used to be just a tea drinker and not do coffee, but honey, I don't know what happened over pandemic, and now I, you know, I'm coffee city. But I don't do coffee, like, I need coffee, like, every second, I do coffee like maybe once a day. Uh, what 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 did I just do? I'm talking about some coffee, girl. Where did I just go? Okay, you know your sis go left. Okay, keep keep go. Get back, get back, focus. Okay, so this is warm freedom. So this has your coffee, a little light floral, cashmere. I love this scent. I highly recommend that you all get that definitely so then i have you all know what this is tensiana terenzi i can't i gotta pick her up like this okay that's deluxe i've had her on my tray before that is also a coffee right this is your coffee vanilla it's very sweet it's very um delectable you know it's really good i i really think it gives me a mature coffee smell and not again in like you know a uh, grandmother no shade nothing you know but not like that but i think it gives me like more elevated more smooth coffee note if that makes sense okay to me now i've told you all before um where is she at? Right there. Monsera, she's also on my tray. Roses Vinny. I told you all with her and Deluxe, Tensiana Terenzi, tomato, tomato. You know, I feel like Roses Vinny still gives me the same vibe. Um, you know, a little bit less in coinage, but I feel it gives me the same vibe. It just has a rose note in it. Okay, so what I'm thinking about doing is layering Monsera Roses Vini, and she's been on my tray before, with Deluxe for the winter time. So I want to see if I vibe with that, if I like that combination, if I like that layering combination, so I can get back to you all and let you all know if it works or if it doesn't, because I'm going to spill the tea with my family. That's what we do around here. Oh, God. Okay. And so we also have... 
Casablanca. Okay, Swiss Arabian. Now look, I got to get her for the one too. You know, before winter ends. This is my caramel apple. I call her caramel apple. Okay, this is basically what this is. But she goes really good layering wise. Okay, if you all see my uh, den, look, look at it. You know, a little bit. And y'all can let's see. He, he a little bit. And, and don't mind the, uh, the, the fingerprints. Okay, uh, moving on. <laughs> Um, but she is really good for a layering combination. And I wanted to bring back my caramel apple is what I call her. Okay, moving on. What is on this tray? Oh, we got some Navitus. Look, I'm saying, oh, like I didn't know it was on my tray. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we have Idola. <laughs> and to me, this gives me remnants of Delina. Okay, I don't think it is like an exact dupe, but I think it does gives me like, you know, around the same area, but I did want to wear her more. I have been waiting a long time and this might not be the right season, but I want to try her in winter season and see if you know, it will be a vibe for me, okay? So I just talked about some of these beauties on my winter picks. I talked about Flower Bomb, Midnight, Victor and Rolf. I just talked about that on my winter picks. I also just talked about, um, not this one. I also just talked about Tom Ford, effing fabulous, okay? And to me, you all, look, you know, I think that Flower Mom Midnight Victor and Roth is a beautiful fragrance. I think it is very so much underrated. I feel like you all should get your nose on that. And some of my family members was like, sis, it's okay that they don't know about that because that just leaves more for us. You know what? That is so true. You know, sometimes, you know, but we keep it in the family. You know what I'm saying? We gatekeep in the family. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the family knowing, hey, this is what you need to pick up. But I really feel like this is a beauty. Get your nose on it. See if you vibe with it. You know, I, I said before, I believe you can get it at um, Sephora and smell it. I would highly recommend. And I didn't get the bigger bottle. So, you know, and this is a nice size. So, you know, help yourself. And then Tom Ford, um, effing fabulous. Again, we've talked about this. Um, so this is your leather, your tonka bean, your vanilla, your lavender scent. Okay, so my lavender lovers, you would really vibe with this. I am going to put, I feel like I've just had her on my tray, but um, Lintrady Givenchy Rouge. I'm going to put her back on my tray because that ginger note in there, mm. honey, get your nose on it. Actually, let me, let me go left real quick. Honey, I'm about to probably even purchase the um, original uh, Givenchy uh, Lintra D. I think I'm going to get the original one. I went in store, smelt it, and I fell in love. Love at first sniff. So I definitely need to get the original bottle, original one, and add to my collection. So good, highly recommend if you don't have okay and another tom ford i'm tom ford up okay vanilla fatal you all that is a beautiful vanilla if you my vanilla lovers if you love a good vanilla honey get your nose on that i think you will not be disappointed it's a sweeter vanilla in my opinion i would highly recommend it okay Next, I have Tom Ford Noir. Do you all have this? Do you all know about this? This is your ginger, bitter orange, bergamot, mandarin orange, okay? To me, I love this one. Now, would this be a blind buy? I've told you all before, I wouldn't blind buy none that says Tom Ford. I would definitely get my nose on it. But this is not going to be as expensive as like your Tom Ford uh, beneath a towel or your Tom Ford, this one, the uh, FN Fabulous. It's not going to be in that price range, but I would still say this is not going to be for everyone. So blind buying it, I would not recommend, but it is a older scent. Okay. 
Now, I don't know if you can uh, put your nose on this in store. You possibly can. Um, I believe this is kind of like their signature line or something like that. If, honey, if that is wrong, if it's not a part of their signature line and my experts talk about, you know, my Tom Ford experts out there, I do apologize. But it is the older version. So you might be able to still in store get your nose on it. But I would check, okay? But if you like a ginger, if you like a sexy, if you like a orange, so like your citrus in it a little bit, um, if you like a bergamot, you might vibe with this. I think this is beautiful in the winter. I think this is a good versatile thing. Like I feel like you can do a quick grab and go with this. You can go to an event with this. You can like hang out all day and still be, you know, good, good. Smelling really nice and sexy and and all the things so highly recommend if you like that vibe definitely recommend you get your nose on it don't come back to your sis talking about something honey that stank because some people don't like it some people do not like time for a noir okay and, and i don't i don't need no issues with my family because we family so we might not like the same things and it's cool but we we gonna just be respectful, you know, because that's what we gonna do. Okay. Um. <laughs> so next up, I have uh, Zara. This is the red vanilla. Um. You all like I would highly recommend vanilla lovers again. That is a great Zar fragrance to get. It is a older one. It just didn't come out just <laughs> yesterday. But to me, it is a beautiful, sweet vanilla um, that is really comforting in the winter. This is going to really be my, like, in the house, every day, quick grab and go pick on my tray. Moving on, another beautiful coffee note, and I am so glad to have her, is Bond Number 9 New York Nights. Do you all have this fragrance? This is your caramel coffee floral sandalwood type of scent. So I feel like all these coffees, right? This is my caramel coffee. Um, this is like my, um, a little bit of a black, but some cream coffee, you know. Uh, warm freedom. It's kind of like your latte type of coffee honey I, I just got all the thing you know it, it's starbucks dunkin donuts all the above up in here on my tray moving on <laughs> we're not about to go back talk about coffee all right and then i have ysl this is lead intense this is not the new one with the honey note however I think I might get the new one, possibly. If I do, it's going to be the same size as that uh, YSL Leave Intense. This is your Lavender Jasmine Sandbag, and this is your Madagascar Vanilla. I love a good Madagascar Vanilla, honey, and has a little bit of vetiver in this. So good, okay? And I know y'all tired of me talking about her. But she gonna be on my tray again for the winter. Is. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that is Cavort, okay? This is fragrance, uh, fragrance Dubois. Honey, I love it. That saffron, that vanilla, honey, is so sexy. And I feel like I have just a few events in this new year to go to to do the things and i feel like i need her for that okay well guys well family this is my tray i hope you all enjoyed seeing some of the things i will be wearing for the month of january if you want to see so many dedicated videos i am willing and ready to give you all Whatever you would like a dedicated review on, I'm probably going to be doing some more dedicated like fragrances, definitely some layering as I've been doing some fun. You know, I used to do the, not used to, honey, I still do it, but like, you know, putting a song, I, I like to have fun. That is the type of person I am and I hope that you all enjoy having fun with me and laughing. I feel like laughing is just the greatest medicine and so hopefully you all 
Man, have a great 2023. I said on my social media, like, it's not about like a new year, new me. I don't think I'm going to do, like, I am doing the best that I can. I want to be, I, I, I'm just, I just want to be me, you know? I just want to live life. I just want to have fun and travel and do all the things. I just want to live day by day, right? So, Hey, hopefully you all, again, have a prosperous, blessed um, in the new year, uh, success coming your, your all's way. Whatever you are hoping for or, or your goals are or whatever you are looking forward to, I hope that it, you know, comes to you 10 times fold, okay? Well, you all make sure that you are good to yourself, give yourself some grace, and And if no one has told you that you are more than enough, (laughs) yo sis just did. Bye family. I love you all so much. Bye family.